one god. Call him Ra, like the sun god Ra, call him Nefertum, call him... There was just a different story from a place to another, from a temple to another. But anyway, they considered him a supreme god. That great god created a couple of gods. Goddess Tifnut and God Chu. Don't worry about names, I know you forget that because there are too many names. But you can say the god of water, or the, sorry, the goddess of moisture, and the god of air. Tifnut and Chu. A couple married each other, and they gave birth to another couple. Goddess Nut and God Geb. Nut was the goddess of the sky. Geb was the god of earth. That's a couple, and again they married each other, and they gave birth to four children. Osiris, Isis, Set, and Niftis. Osiris, Isis, Set, and Niftis. Meshi, meshi? Good. Osiris was worshipped by most of people as the good god, as a great man, as the one who uh, is doing the right thing. But Set was the evil spirit. He was mean and he hated his brother because everybody just loved him. He was jealous and he wanted to get rid of his brother. So, Osiris was very powerful and Set was mean and he couldn't face his brother. So he thought he you know, might make like a trap or something or kill him some in somehow so he will be able to uh, 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 rule by himself and you know claim everything, claim all the glory, but without facing his brother. So, thousands of years ago, the sarcophagus was a very expensive gift, extremely expensive. Only rich people could afford to be buried in a coffin or a sarcophagus made out of a stone. So, Seth made a very fine coffin. Remember, we're talking about gods and goddesses, so there's just a legend. The priests are those who came up with that legend. Anyway, he made a very fine coffin, and that was a very expensive gift. And he said, the coffin is for my brother. Of course, Osiris couldn't say no. After all, Seth was just his brother. Yeah. And he thought he just you know, made that coffin for him, which was extremely expensive and a beautiful gift. And he wanted just to have it. Why not? He's my brother. He's giving me something. I'm going to take it. So he accepted the present and he was asked to try and lay down in a coffin to try the coffin, to try the sarcophagus. It's going to fit or not. He did that and quickly his bad brother, his mean brother, brought the lid of the coffin, put the lid in the coffin and threw the coffin into the water. That wasn't the end of the story. Isis, the wife of Osiris, because I said, you know, they were brothers and sisters. Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Niftis. Osiris, mad Isis, Seth, mad Niftis. Anyway, Isis decided to find her husband, you know. Yeah. She refused to give up. So she transformed herself into a vulture. That's why you see the headdress of Cleopatra was like oh. a vulture. You see, the headdress of goddess Isis was like a vulture or wings. She was able to transfer, uh, transform herself into that vulture, so she was able to fly over the Nile and look for her husband. But when Seth realized that he was in danger, you know, the coffin would be found, and Osiris was a great and powerful god who would be resurrected, and he would be in trouble. So he decided to find the coffin before Isis. But this time, he decided to get rid of his brother for good, forever. So what did he do? He found the coffin. And this time, he chopped up the coffin into 42 pieces. So to make it impossible. Good, good question. Why 42? You remember that number? I said that number before. 42. 42. The 42 provinces of ancient Egypt, 22 in the south and 20 in the north. 42 different nomes, 42 different big cities, you know? Mm -hmm. And he scattered the pieces on the 42 provinces, so it's impossible now, and you know, I, I'm Isis to find all of these pieces, but she made it. 
she never gave up. She decided to find all the pieces. And when she found, you know, that important piece of fertility, don't get me wrong, she wanted just to be pregnant, to have a son, to have a baby to revenge his father. So she found the baby organ and um, where was she find it? It's just a legend, you know, it's different from a uh, place, a temple to another. Some people said that she found it in the find south. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> she found the male organ and she was able uh, to become pregnant, to have a baby, and that was Horus, the falcon, who became the great god of uh, war and fighting, and he was able to revenge his father. We will get to see that later when we visit.